Hey everyone, what's up and good morning. Just dropped the kid at the kindergarten and heading home to have a Skype with um, the organizer of uh, Creative Mornings Jerusalem. Remember I shared with you going to the Creative Mornings event in Tel Aviv? Anyway, the organizers of uh, Creative Morning in Jerusalem invited me over to give a talk there and we're gonna just uh, plan what I'm gonna be speaking about. You know, last week I gave a talk at the IDC but I don't think it's the same crowd and I don't actually think that was a perfect talk and I kind of want to push push to the next level of giving presentation and talks. Uh, I'm listening to the audiobook about TED Talks right now so I have a lot of thoughts about how to give a better talk so we're gonna discuss this right now over Skype. talking to Marcel planning the talk for the creative morning you know creative mornings have every month they have a different theme that all the talks have to you know touch that theme and this month's theme is reality and we were thinking what what story can we share around that and it reminded me of you know when I was a teenager kind of I had a talk with my mom uh, in I was telling her that I only work with clients and bosses and stuff that I like and she was telling me you know Ron life is not always going to be fun 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 you're not always going to like your boss or your clients and I, and you know you have to deal with real life because that's what real life means and I told her mom that's that's not going to be my reality I'm only going to do stuff that I love and kind of when I think about you know my journey so far it's always been a struggle kind of to to fight against what other people define as real life to create a life that's that fits what what I want and what I need and whether it, it is you know people telling you that you have to work 18 hours a day if you want to you know build a successful company or if you want to be the best designer and stuff like that and now struggling you know with raising a family uh, while trying to run your own business so that's kind of a theme you know along with my life and I think I'm going to try to tell that story um, so later on today I'm gonna write try to really think about you know the flow of the presentation but right now I'm going back to working on the new school stuff you know building uh, kind of the missing features in Prospero so um, you know building what we have left so we can launch it you know finalizing and turning the beta into a real version Alright, here's what I've done so far. First of all, Ayala developer has closed the beta with a user and password so not anybody can get in, only our beta testers. So he's, he did something pretty simple but very ugly for a login page. So I did something uh, pretty simple in Webflow but at least it's, it's a bit nicer. Now the second thing is that right now the flow is that people arrive to this super simple page, they click the get started and they jump right into the tool while that's fine for you know our beta testers when you think about launching a real tool you have to think about uh, you know the flow of how this is going to really work so I've been thinking about it in basically there's going to be a sales page um, that's going to explain the tool and how it works and how it costs and so on and so on and there's gonna be a, like a get start button when you click the get start button you're supposed to arrive to some dashboard that will show you all the types uh, if you've created like multiple proposal it will show you everything but the first time that you arrive there it's gonna be like add a new proposal not you know going straight into the proposal wizard but telling you that if you want to create a proposal while you, when you click it you'll get some kind of a pop-up that says you have to buy a credit to start a proposal so I'm currently I'm debating whether I should do like you can buy one credit five credit ten credits or just say buy one credit for four ninety nine and only after you buy the credit you're getting to the wizard and then to the editor and then going back to the dashboard to see all the proposals that you've created. So 
the, the flow is a bit more complicated right now and I don't have the design for the for the dashboard where you see all your proposals so that's what I'm going to design right now Here's what I've created. Uh, the first screen is this dashboard is the first time that you logged in you kind of get to see a video that explains to you how to use the tool and then you can uh, create a new proposals here you see that all your next pr proposals will be created after you click this you go into the wizard that creates the proposals and the next time that you're gonna land on this screen you already see uh, all the proposals that you have created you can edit them or delete them and create more proposals. Time to take a lunch break and I'm also going to use the bike ride as time to think about the story and the narrative I wanna have for my Creative Mornings uh, talk. Oh, yeah. Good bike ride and good talking to Lior. So I was thinking about the story of my creative morning stock and when I'm listening to the TED books they suggest that you have kind of a through line that goes inside your presentation and it, you'll be able to summarize the idea of the talk in up to 15 words. So when I think about it I came up with everybody told me real life sucks but I rebelled against it or I think that's up to 15 words and that's a story I'm gonna tell about how everybody told me you know that uh, life is supposed to be somehow you gotta work a certain way and all my life I'm trying to rebel against it and I'm gonna give a certain story of my you know my work at a branding agency and then in a startup and uh, kind of end up with with the struggle that I have right now you know because my life isn't perfect yet it's <laughs> Or maybe it can never be perfect you know right now I'm struggling with the fact that I'm really trying to build my own business and client work and run a family and and that's a struggle that's what I'm trying to figure out right now uh, I'm not working nights anymore or not working weekends uh, I'm not doing projects I don't want to work so I only work with people that I love this thing I got figured out but right now you know struggle wanting to be with my family but also needing to really hustle hard that's the struggle I'm in right now. So I think I kind of have a good flow for the presentation, probably gonna elaborate it in the upcoming weeks before the talk. Um, I think that's all for today. I'm gonna head back to work on some new school stuff and a bit of client work, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.